The make noise function is part of the maths family of control voltage utility modules. Like maths, it is a small analog computer designed for musical purposes. The function is very similar to a channel 1 or channel 4 of maths, but has a couple tricks up its sleeve to make it more versatile as a single channel device. The core of what the function does is follow control voltage and slow it down. A signal goes in the input and comes out the output, either at the same amplitude or inverted. When the signal goes up, it is slowed down by an amount set by the rise time. When the signal goes down, it is slowed down by an amount set by the fall time. The shape of the rise and fall sections is set by the response control. This basic concept allows the function to be used in quite a few different ways. For example, with step voltage like this sequence, it can be used to add portamento or slew. For a gate signal, it is like adding an attack and release phase, creating a basic ASR envelope. For audio signals, it smooths out rough edges, acting like a filter. The function also has a trigger input, which causes it to immediately go from zero to full amplitude and back to zero, still according to the rise, fall, and response settings. Engaging the cycle button causes it to re-trigger every time it goes back to zero, so it can act as an LFO. The rise and fall times are very wide range, so it could cycle as infrequently as every 20 minutes or longer, or cycle quickly enough to be heard directly as an audio oscillator. The function also has gate outputs that alternate depending on what the output is doing. If it is falling, the end of rise gate is high. If it is rising or standing still, the end of cycle gate is high. One of the two gates is high at all times, indicated by the bipolar LED. Unlike on the maths, which has end of rise on channel 1 and end of cycle on channel 4, function has both outputs available on a single channel so one could create complex envelopes with a function and a channel of maths or another function. Here's a patch utilizing the end of rise and end of cycle gates. We'll trigger the function with the pressure points touch gate and then use the function as a dual pulse delay with two gates delayed by the rise and fall times. One input the function has that maths does not have is the hang input. Gate high in this input causes the function to stop in its tracks immediately until gate goes low.
When the function is self-cycling, the whole cycle picks up where it left off. It is like momentarily freezing the LFO. When it's tracking an external voltage, this could be used like a track and hold, where it stops following the voltage until gate goes low. It's even possible to program a sample and hold using the hang input and a pulse with a width of 90% or greater. If the function is being used mostly for its gate outputs as a clock source or similar, the hang input can be used as a start-stop control.